What's up, Wills? David here again. Oh, uh, well, but finally. No, right, finally. Welcome to part two of the Let's Play Shovel Knight. Hot, no weapons. We have enough to worry about lately with everyone swinging swords around. Oh, haha, uh -huh. that's no weapon. This is a shovel. You may enter then. And don't forget, press up to talk to everyone. Okay, strange. Yep. Welcome to the village. So we have a lot to go over here. Starting with this guy. Hail, traveler. I am but a simple. Yeah. I am but a simple boy. But I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets. My entire repertoire lays scattered across the land. If you ever find a music sheet, return it to me, and I shall reward you handsomely. Whoa, you have two music sheets. Magnificent. Take 500 gold for each. Wonderful. Let's see here. Oh, you found it. The rival. Black Knight has fine musical taste. Taste should have... Fuck that. Black Knight has fine musical taste. Should, should have studied composition. But then, I'd be the one with the rival. Okay, that was good. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for, for you any time, just that. And I do believe that if we ask him to play it, he'll like, act. I guess we have to be one watch this, so. But, um, if we do play it for him, I do believe... I do believe... And the boss game. I do believe it plays out the whole time. Yes, it does. So we have got 5,000 gold now to do things. We're almost six. Now, you're probably wondering what these things people are. We'll talk to them in a bit. Oh, another music sheet. Okay. Oh god. Fog. Okay, what well, was doing? Hey. Fuck. <laughs> I'm bad with voices. Hey, sh hey Shovel Knight. I'm just gonna read it. Hey Shovel Knight, I know things are tough, but don't throw in the towel. Yeah, I'm just gonna read that, because I'm never talking to that dude again. Hello, fish friend. All hail the Trouble King. Ooh. You've never heard of the Trouble King? Half trout and half apple. <laughs> Pronounced like mouthful? He's one of the forest gods, here to help those in need. I'm telling the truth. If you ever visit the sacred grotto, hold your chance aloft and the travel king will appear. As it happens, I've been entrusted to sell travel chalices to believers. Would you like one? Okay, so we can buy two. Um, I'll just buy one for now, because I need more money for other things. This is just a... Blue guy, you wouldn't believe the much of that crap that day. Why not have a look? We got the fishing rod and the chaos sphere. Sphere. Left. I think I'm gonna leave those alone for now. I'll see how much money I have when I'm done down here. Ah, the new face. Dancers, acolytes, witches, goats. Everyone welcome. Everyone's welcome. Oh, woe is me, the king of nothing, not to rule but my lone boss rule. King of Night sits on Pride Moor's throne, that gilded goon, he'll get his soon. Okay. Ah, now I want to talk to you again. Clean <laughs> Double trouble, soil and <laughs> I just now got that joke. <laughs> Double trouble, soil and shovel. <laughs> oh, God. Double trouble, soil and shovel. My third eye knows you're useless and excavatio. The number of digger piles you dug is six. Uh, Allum infinios. 
the amount of gold you collected is 500. It's 500, yes. 5,983. Then a toe with few to tum. The number of times you've fallen in battle is two. Tempo and Perpetua. The total time you've spent in venturing is 14 minutes, 21 seconds. I, s I magically see all your fa your acts come back again for, for more useful facts. Thanks for helping me, kindly witch. I'm not a witch. Okay. Then, if we blow this open, oh, hello. Uh, I suppose peaceful solitude is too much to ask for. Well, as long as I'm stranded here, shall we pass the time with the little game? I just need a hunch to go first. Alright. Alright, I'll conjure up some things and you can hit them towards the target's points, okay? So now, this is Mona's game. She conjures up a bunch of potions. And, um... We need to hit them into the targets. And as you can tell, I'm complete garbage at this game. Oh, and yes, and the weird flashing one, um... Explode. Yes, as you, as I said, you guys didn't tell, I'm awful at this. You got 46 points, that's not very good though. If you're trying to impress me, you should try for 75 now. Alright. You're probably wondering why I haven't talked to this lady yet. Well, this lady's actually a little important. Ooh, that's spent a night. If someone could defeat him, I would bestow upon them my greatest treasure. Doesn't seem that like that much, huh? You'll see. I think there's stuff this way. I can't remember. I'll talk to those guys back there eventually. Don't worry. Oh yeah, this guy. Are you really the Shaman Knight? Prove it by digging up this guy. Wow, incredible! You really are. Now this lady, she's in perfect position for that thing. Yeah, you st yeah you stand on the little bar things of the bucket carrying, and you can get a musical note and some more gold. Yeah, don't ask what this little girl's doing, because I don't know. So I suppose you should go drop off this music. Whoa, you have two music sheets! Magnificent! Take 500 gold please! Wonderful! Let's see here! Oh, you found Pastoral, or Pastorale, I don't know how to say that. Having my music piped into shopping centers, I suppose it does pay the bill. <laughs> now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you anytime you ask. You want, just ask. Okay. Now I finally talk to these people. Pull pottage and poultry, mutton and meat. Your maximum health will increase if you eat. Bring me a meal ticket. I'll whip you up a feast. A feast. Gotitian might have some. Now where's that slight east? Okay. What's more you what more use out of your relic? Oh yes, of course. Uh, I can increase your maximum magic. Good. Yes, very good. So now we have 40 magic. What are relics? We'll find out. Well, I'll explain that in a bit. Here, Gotitian. Uh, oh wait, no, that's a sheep. And also, that was terrible. <laughs> ah, decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magic or help or just eat a tin can? Why not buy my meal tickets and help narrow my options? Now we give this to a gastronomer a meal ticket. Hand it to me. I'll get to work on my best recipe. I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less. So bon appetit and pour it in the mess. <laughs> Gee, 
Jesus Christ, that's a big ass sandwich. It's like the it's like the half the size of me. But yes, as you can tell up there, I now have five maximum health. Now, as for the relics that you use the magic for, that's the stuff Chester here is selling. I will go with the fishing rod. And you know what? While I'm here, I might as well buy the other one. That's all we have to do here in town. As you can see, now I can go to these places. So we have three options. We have Pride More Keep, Lair of King Knight. The Lich Yard, Lair of Spectre Knight. And the Travel Pond. I forgot you can fall down there and die. Who has awakened me? Mortal, dost thou need aid? Aid, aid. I sense a trouble, Chalice. I can fill it with a magical icor. That's pronounced icor. Choose your Icor wisely. So we have three Icor choices. Icor of Renewal, which fills all health and magic. Icor of Boldness, become invincible for 10 seconds. And Icor of Fortune, absorb nearby treasures for 60 seconds. So, um, this is honestly kind of, I've never gotten this one. I've, ne I've never used this. Um, this one is good, but we get a basic, but we get a much better equivalent to it later, so obviously the renewal is the best one. Subjects, a new initiate joins us. The ceremony shall commence. Return if thou, if thou hast need of my aid again. Yes, I gave him, yes, I gave him a deep growl, growly sort of evil voice just for the hell of it. <laughs> Anyways, now we shall head to Pride More Keep. Yes, if you go to the left right off the bat, you get a music note and a bunch of money, and you see shining sparkles down here, and if we use our fishing rod, yes, the fish hook was an anchor. Yes, you can dig up, you can either dig up fish, they give you money or travel one of the little guys that um travel king had around and it will give you a random icor if you have any empty chalices but yeah so this level has a lot of gimmicks got the dumping lava pot, as you can see there. Mm. 
but trust me, we will get a lot more gimmicks than just the bat. This is probably the most, if not one of, well, one of the, if not the most gimmicky stage in the game. I say one of the, because the furthest I've made it in the game on my own time is Polar Knight stage. Like, I have my own save file that I'm playing through the game on. And the furthest I've made it on that save file is Polar Knight. Right. No, not Polar Knight. Tinker Knight, sorry. And something you will notice here is this. If you remember back to the first level, um, there were special gold things around the checkpoint. You'll notice here there's no such thing. You can break checkpoints to get money. Now obviously you won't now you will not be revived at two checkpoints anymore, but you can still do that. If you're a little short on cash. <laughs> if you think you can make it to the next checkpoint without dying and are a little short on cash, you can always destroy checkpoints to get a bunch of money. And if I am correct, um... The later in the stage of the checkpoint, the better, the, like, the, the better the money you get. But I like, could be wrong about that. We got these falling chandeliers. There's another new gimmick. Would you look at that? Another new gimmick right over here. Oh, dang it! <laughs> I was about to say, although this gimmick has a purpose. <laughs> Also, I'm not sure if I've mentioned it already, but, um... Shovel Knight shuff suffers from severe Mega Man Syndrome, meaning that spikes instantly kill him. As I was saying, this gimmick actually has a purpose. Notice we're in this secret room now, and, um... There's a chest over there that doesn't look like normal chest. If we destroy it, what do you know? It's Chester! In the village, in the field, I have all the- I have all the deep. You're not gonna believe I just found another chest. You wanna see? The Leia wand for a thousand. Yes, I will buy that. Now, if you miss these special items, um, you can still get them. You can buy them from them in that little area in the village that he's in. Um, they just cost more when you buy them from them there. Except the Fishing Rod and Chaos Spear, because there is the only wet play you, you can get them. So they obviously don't cost more. Those don't cost more in the village. But, like, the items you find in the stages do. I did not mean to shoot him with Flare Wand. Because basically what Flare Wand does is it just shoots a fireball. Doesn't sound that useful, but it's actually pretty good. Pretty good. I apologize for that extremely dating me in that Oh, wait. We have another chest. More money. this we can fall back down in here get all this hit a checkpoint then we can drop back down into this room and come back through here to destroy the rest of these dirt pile 
The rest of these block things to get the to get all this money. And then continue through the stage of the normal way. strategy I like to use for this is to just stay back and shoot it in the face if you want. I mean, you can try not to get hit a million times doing that, but um, the odds of trying to do it and succeeding aren't exactly the highest things in the world. Probably wondering why am I ignoring that money? Well, there's stuff over here. Also, fun fact: if you can find one of those ranges in the right place and get a good angle, you can actually hit the fireballs back at them and kill them. See, this room's gimmick is is basically the banners cover up holes and blockades. Oh yeah, and most of these banners have like a small amount of money hidden behind them. So again, if you're running low on cash. I, I could have sworn you could get over there from that. Well, could. stage gimmick when I don't when I can get through that room without dying <laughs> that, yes that book there that will be our next stage gimmick book creates platforms, except the platforms only stay there for a limited time. And now they're mixing it with a lot of this now. As you can see, you can pick up a trowel, but of course, I can't get the effects from him because both my chalices. Oh, 
Oh, did I mention that this is my least favorite moment in the entire stage? Like, this specific part we're on right here. Like, that specific room is my least favorite room in this stage. Oh, I dug up a bomb. Yeah, you can do that sometimes. You can open a thing and it's just a bomb. Interloper in our midst. Be gone from our throne room, knave. I am no more an intruder than you. You aren't even a real king. Oh, but you're mistaken. The enchantress saw me for my fabulous regal self. Then now all bow before me. You are not but a but a decadent dandy. God, I hate old people talk. <clears throat> Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice. Silence. Yeah, I always take on him first. I always take on him first, because he's pretty easy. Especially with Flare. Especially if you get Flare on. Also, oh no, did you look at that? I'm low on health. Nope. And look at that, all my magic back. So now... Yeet. That's it for today on Shovel Knight. See ya.